public charge is essentially how the government decides um, when they're, when someone is applying for a visa to come to the United States or when someone is already in the United States and applying for a green card, they go through essentially a public charge test. It's not really a test, but it's essentially uh, immigration officers will look at a person's uh, age, um, income, they'll look at uh, their, their use of public benefits um, to decide whether that person is going to become a public charge. And essentially what that means is if they have used uh, cash assistance, if they've received cash assistance, or they have used long-term living assistance, government uh, uh, subsidized living assistance, they, w they are considered a public charge and they're not given a visa or a green card. So why the change now that Department of Homeland Security is proposing? Um, I can tell you what the change is. <laughs> why the change is, is um, essentially to, this is an attack on family-based immigration. Um, we've already seen an attack on undocumented immigrants. I think this is a, this is a way to curb uh, family-based immigration. So uh, it's family separation on a different level. Uh, it's people who are here who are bringing their families to join them. Um, now their family members will have to go through, through this public charge test. Watch One Detroit, Thursday at 7.30 p.m.